begging abroad, boasting at home. Nigerian Senator tackles President Muhammad Buhari. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. A senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Shehu Sani, has tackled President Muhammad Buhari over the debt situation of the country. In a tweet on his official Twitter handle on Sunday, Mr. Sane made reference to the president's statement during the 77th United Nations General Assembly held in September, as well as the recent statement by the Minister of Finance, Zeynep Shamsuna Ahmed. Recall that this day index had a couple of months ago placed Nigeria courage debt as high as $86 billion, with the country paying billions annually for maintain or service the debt. Main Baalwa reacting to Zainab Ahmed was a day ago that Nigeria does not need to seek debt cancellation or restructuring as his debt position is within the comfortable limits. Senator Sani had this to say. At the September 77th United Nations General Assembly in New York, President Buhari begged for debt forgiveness. Back at home, the finance minister is saying we do not need debt forgiveness. Begging abroad, and boosted at home. Double standard people. What is the big deal in coming out anyway? I understand that eh, they don't want us to know that eh, we don't, our own is almost close to finished. Yes. They don't want people to start panicking. But the thing is, the information we then they hide from us, we self, we be Nigerians, we don't already know this information even before they brought it to us. Even before they brought it to us. I remember when Nigeria were, uh, I mean, Nigeria early this year, well, they were complaining. This borrowing tikpoju, borrowing no tikpoju. Some people came out and even gave us a list of how people used to borrow, how people like the UK, you they rob soldiers with UK and US. And far away, you they rob soldiers, people that have put things in place that even if this president commands. There are things in place that are servicing. There are revenues that they can be used to repay back the debt. Nigeria has put nothing. In fact, <laughs> nothing at all on ground. And you, are, you they use your, you they rub shoulder with them. Onto waiting. Onto which level be that? You see, they cut your clothes according to your size. Eh? You see, it is not only for individual. It is also as a, as a country. Cut your clothes according to your size. You not say you not get. Maintain as in manage the one we get. Utilize the one you have so judiciously that at the end of the day, eh, then go raise hand for you. Say you use them well. Because anytime I come out and see um the news that oh our debt profile is high, I'll be like there are people who we are ready who are supporting this this evil just because my person they power for that reason my brain no go day intact. Do you know what it means? It's just like, okay, because my father is, let me say, for instance, my father is a VC of a university. For that reason, I'm not going to be studious. Who am I deceiving? Is it myself or my father? Who am I deceiving? At the end of the day, not be me, my, my, not be my name, the certificate will be here. If you like, no go, school, no go school to learn now. At the end of the day, is it me? Am I the one that is going to be going for interviews and I'm not going to be able to perform well? It, it is, if you like, you know. So this one, the, those people came out and just because they had somebody in power, they wanted to support the person and they keep spilling all sort of things that they were very annoying then. Nigerians came out and Nigerians were screaming out. We were screaming out along then that see this debt, this thing, don't they too play too. So people came out and said there is no country that has not buried. And I was looking at them and said, ah, I want to low, I want to low. As in, they don't, as in these people, they don't use them. They have been used. I'm telling you. Now, you don't declare for their eyes. Their eyes are beginning to open, but unfortunately, it is now late. <laughs> so, Dr. Shehu Saniyo, thank you, because you are one of those that come out to speak truth to power. Buhari's administration is clueless, directionless, and the most disastrous in the history of Nigeria, apart from his administration. You know, eh, one of the problems of this administration is, I make my brother come join me. Look. As a person, I tell you for free, if I'm in a position where I am in a leadership position, I will not accept my, accept maybe, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Even if my brother in business, eh? or let's say, if let's say if I have a, somebody who is a contractor, 
And let me say my brother is also a contractor. The thing I can do is I will say this person and my brother to work. But I will give that contract to somebody who knows his onions. I don't know if you are getting me. What is wrong with this administration is because now my brother, the bummy man, a bummy man, I want to put him with my mother's grandfather's son daughter. You know, that is what is the problem. Look at everywhere. The finance minister, a northerner, the accounting general, a northerner, the AGF, everywhere. These people, they are around. And I can bet you for sure, eh? I feel put, if I get $1,000, I will put them down. Say these people, they are not the best people in their field. They are just putting them there because even the Senate president himself, because now my brother, and for that reason, anything we want, I go give him. No, in fact, another person with my brother, and I mean, I go to quarry pass. Because I go tell him and say, it would be a shame that I am here and things went wrong. Yes, now. It would be a shame that I am here as your, this thing, and your things went wrong. They will now think that is how it used to be. So you do what you put people who are diligent in power. Who really want to work. Not people will be saying you put there and tomorrow they think they are better right. Okay. Um, Buhari is a Babiala president, always with his cap in his hands, ready to beg again and again. But my question is, what did APC administration use all this huge money for? My brother, if you ask me, who I go ask? Let me tell you, some of them went into the pockets of some Nigerians, and I don't mean the president. And now, let, another revelation I want to give to you people is... There are people, there are projects that the president has approved and given funds for. But some people who are referred to as new generations, witches and wizards, will not allow those projects to see the light of the day. I told the people a story of how we're sitting down and discussing and somebody was telling me how, was it a contractor was given a road? You know, he was given a contract to repair a road, you know, to do, to do that road. And, they, and it was 100 million for that contract. And they gave him that money. You understand? Before how many hours with that money and time out, you don't receive call. From unknown number, oh, see how far that money they paid into your account too. You have to you send your account number, pay fifty million there and to it. The man was like, even the fifty one hundred million is not even okay. It's not enough. That it is management and they're like which road? The road that they were assigned every year. That's please, you should send the money. Oh. And the man was like, uh uh-uh, uh, you know, he will not send it and he was trying to prove other man. They tell and see your guy. Your wife, this is the, this is where she stayed. This is they started giving threats. Um, if you are in that position, what would you do? This is exactly what happens to. This is exactly what happens in those places. You see, they will give money. The president will sign that he has done this particular project. Meanwhile, the witches, the modern witches and modern modern wizards in this country, will not allow those projects to see the end of the day. That is why I'm saying, while picking people who are aides, who are um, special advisors who are, you know, both the governors, both the local government chairman, both the councillors at every level and people who are assistant to them. We should pick people who really, really are genuinely hunger for a Nigerian that is better. Because if you put the same people there with one good man above, it is all going to, the effect the good man was going to make is going to be very little. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.